All right, guys, here's the resume that got me my data analyst job. We're going to go over exactly what's in it and exactly what you need in yours so you can get one too. Let's get into it. So since I was just graduating college, I had this education and honors section at the top. However, once you go a little bit further in your career, if you have more experience than maybe somebody who's just graduating college, you can put that right at the top. And since I have some other experience that was more related to the job, I tried to keep this section short and sweet. So I started off with the university that I went to, Penn State, we are, and I graduated in December of 22. And then I put the degree right under there, Bachelor of Science in Applied Statistics with an Information Systems minor. If you're proud of your GPA, you can include that. I don't think it's super important and I don't think it's going to change the fact whether you're going to get a job or not. The next section is relevant coursework. So I took regression, probability, risk management and insurance, ANOVA, business analytics, intro to R and Python, and data science in R. So really for the relevant coursework, you're going to want to put only classes that relate to the job you're applying to. And that's why you're seeing risk management and insurance. I included that class because at one point I was in actuarial science and I'm applying to a health insurance company. However, looking back now that I'm in the job, probably I could have left off a few of these classes because they're not super important. For example, regression, ANOVA, not super important for my role, but really look through the job description, figure out what courses you had that relate to the job and include those ones. And then finally, if you have any honors or anything specific that you want to call out, put that there. I think that's important to show and it kind of shows employers that you're pretty serious about your work. And so even though I started off with education and honors, I think if you have really important relevant experience, I think it would make sense to even move that above this section. Moving on to the relevant experience, I'm going to move my camera over so you can see everything. So the first one that I had here is uh, my internship at the actual company that I was applying to. So after my internship, I wanted to stay there. I really liked the atmosphere in the company. So I applied to the same company that I interned at. So here you can see I was an analytics operations intern. That was my job title as an intern. Now, since I was applying to a data analytics role and my internship was really focused on software testing, I just called out the specific parts of that job function that related to data analysis. So you can see the first line, testing and documenting technology upgrades such as SAS, VIA, and Trifecta. Um, those are just specific technologies that as the intern, kind of we had to test and make sure that the new update wasn't going to screw up anything with our existing kind of workflow that we had at, at the company. And so since I was testing technologies that was actually used in these analysis workflows, I wanted to call out specifically that I had experience using them and testing them and a lot of the different functionalities within those tools. The next thing was to show that I also had experience with Python. I wrote a lot of Python scripts that automated the cleanup of servers of unused files and automate file archival process. So that's pretty important at a company like this because you, you could imagine there's so many files being passed around and it's important to be able to clean up old ones that just aren't used anymore and archive them so that people can find them pretty easily. And then finally, I also helped with some analysis in this analytics operation internship. I helped convert some existing dashboards at the company into R that were previously in things like Tableau or SAS via. And now this one actually related directly to the role that I have now because that's something that I still do. And I think that was an important call out and an important thing to include on the resume. And so I had my internship at the top because that was the most recent. But prior to that, I was also a student researcher at my college. So in that research position, I did things like utilize Python with a bunch of the packages that I call out there to perform various forms of advanced data cleaning and analysis, machine learning operations on large data sets provided by sensors on injection molding machines. The rules still apply. I know how to do analysis. I was using Python. I was using a lot of different packages in Python, and I was performing a lot of different operations there. I also got to dip my toes into some machine learning and data analytics, so that was directly applied to the role that I was going for. And this position was pretty unique because I was able to mock up some of the research that I had done into documents that was shared within my school. So I can also show that not only I know how to do it, but I can also explain it to other people in a way that they can understand, which is very important for data analytics. So again, I'm showing that I know how to do things that are related to the role and I know how to explain them to people. Those are all important things when you're becoming a data analyst. And so if you don't have relevant experience like this, I highly, highly recommend that you try your ass off to get positions like this because it's super important on a resume and it helps show that you actually know what you're doing and you're not just getting by in school. All right, so let's move on to the skills section. Now here, I just wanted to call out anything that wasn't called out above. I called out some of the programming languages that I know. Python, R mainly, some HTML, some SAS, some C++. With all of that knowledge, with all of that, all of those languages that I did have experience with, 
that also shows the ability to learn new languages quickly. So if this role uses different language or the team uses a different language or tool, that I can learn it and pick it up pretty quickly. So next I called out some specific machine learning that I learned within my previous roles and in school. And then also I call out any data science or data analytics specific skills that I have. So data analysis, statistics and modeling, regression, classification, clustering. I've worked with probability and time series analysis, hypothesis testing, all the basic stuff that you would get through your statistics major or in a previous role related to data analytics. And so it's important to call out any of the other technologies you know. You can see I have Tableau, Excel, Git. Those are all other technologies that I've used within previous roles or within previous school experience. All right, and then finally, another important section is the projects and leadership section. So here, you wanna call out anything specific where you took an actual leadership role or you led a project or did a project on your own because you can show from start to finish exactly what you did, maybe a little bit about the process and what you learned. So the first one I had was taking lead on an R Shiny dashboard development that was in my internship. So I was converting an existing dashboard that existed in SAS Viya into an R Shiny application. And I knew this was an important thing to call out because in my specific position, we were converting a lot of these dashboards over into you know open source technologies such as Python and R. And that was important to call out because I knew that would be something that would probably come up in the role that I was applying for. With something like R or Python, you have a lot more power than using something like Tableau or SAS Viya to create dashboards. You can see that I said it improves the efficiency of the dashboard in updating user inputs, and it improves based on those other technologies because R and Python being open source have a lot more capabilities than some of those other programs. And the next thing was calling out some of my specific statistics knowledge that I've applied in my previous roles. So implementing statistical process control or SPC on my smart manufacturing research team that was at my school. So I took lead on implementing SPC for the project and utilized Python to do so. So I showed that I had specific statistics knowledge that would possibly be applied to a data analytics role. And I also called out that we were presenting these results to team members and to the sponsoring organization that we were work working with because that's an important thing as a data analyst. You're always going to be presenting your results to either your team members or managers or stakeholders. And that is a vital part of the position. So if you don't have experience doing that, I would try to get some, maybe present your research in a, in a video or present your research to some of your friends or team members or classmates. If you want this resume template for yourself, go ahead and check the two links out in the description. One's to the Discord and one is to my email list. I'll be adding those over the next couple days. And if you want to hear more about how I actually got my analytics job, some more about the interview, check out this video next because it's going to help you do just that. Thanks for watching.